Have you ever contemplated the importance of relinquishing control when it comes to landscape photography? It's such a stark departure from many facets of our lives where we really strive for maximum control. Embracing the unpredictable whims of Mother Nature is what compels us to continually explore the world's offerings every time we go out to shoot. I mean, just imagine a world where we could manipulate the weather to create perfect conditions at will. At first, that sounds amazing. But then you realize and ask the question, would you still venture out to capture the magic? Would you make the time to witness sunrise day after day? Would you return to a place year after year with the hope of finally capturing that elusive, enchanting shot you've always yearned for? The answer is a resounding no, we wouldn't. The enchantment would dissipate. This realization is truly fascinating, especially when I often find myself in less than ideal conditions, yearning for more control over what's before me. And in this episode, I find myself in yet another breathtaking location here in Newfoundland, faced with the less than inspiring conditions, as you can see. Yet I'm determined to take my camera out and see what I can create, irrespective of the circumstances given to me. Spoiler alert, the results mirrored the conditions, somewhat lackluster and uninspired. But the truth is, I didn't want to sit in my car again without attempting to capture the moment. I've discovered that sometimes my intuition is wrong, and I've stumbled upon a few hidden gem images simply because I ventured out in poor conditions. It's also essential to photograph locations to understand their nuances, patterns, and textures, so that when the perfect conditions do arise, you're fully prepared. We're going to revisit this location several times, but for now, here's what I captured that evening. A couple days later, the sun finally made an appearance, so I left the coffee shop I was working in, and I got my butt out there, and damn, did it feel good to catch some vitamin D. All right, it's like three in the afternoon, but I haven't seen the sun very much in like 10 days. In last week's episode, you, you watched me wake up over and over again, and the only time that I really saw the sun was the midday for some of those rainbows. And then this episode started off with me trying to shoot sunset, even though I knew there wouldn't be anything for sunset but literally just trying to make the best of what I'm given. And finally, a couple days later, the sun has come out, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the only time I'm gonna see the sun for the next couple days. So I have to utilize it. And I've come to a new spot I've never been. This is the first time I'm walking over these hills. And my God, Newfoundland just doesn't disappoint, man. It just keeps getting better. Look at this shot that I'm coming over right now. Holy crap. Oh man. All right, let's see if we can go take some midday shots. Don't you see what's next? I was just taking some shots on the telephoto, but not necessarily getting anything great. I actually think just sitting here and enjoying this scene uh, and capturing the video, the video looks fantastic. And in person, it's just absolutely gorgeous, but I don't necessarily know if it's photogenic, but you can see there's a bunch of fog rolling through. It's far foggier over here. I'm not sure how that's gonna affect my scene, but I'm about to be surrounded by it. Uh, and it could add some moisture to the air, but if the sun keeps coming through, we might get some of that nice rainbow effect, or uh, it could just add some more atmosphere. It's literally changing by the minute. So I'm gonna stand around, probably walk around a little bit more, might just position myself here and see what happens with the light. But realistically, I'm just enjoying being out in the sun, getting some absolutely beautiful spots here, uh, and not necessarily worrying about portfolio worthy shots or anything like that, and just bringing you along for this amazing, amazing place uh, that I really hope transpires through video. Jeez, just, ah, uh, man, what a place.
I've just packed up my stuff because it started raining. But it could be a good thing because if you can see, the sun is like right there. And with this moisture in the air, if the sun comes out of the clouds, we will get a rainbow. As long as it keeps raining enough and there's enough sea spray, but it's just gotta come out of those clouds. So I'm gonna sit here, let myself get rained on a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's not like the view uh, sucks or anything, just, huh, I mean, <laughs> like I'm literally speechless with where I'm at right now. It's absolutely wild. I think we're gonna get it. I think, well, no, no, I don't wanna jinx it. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, the sun is coming out. As you can see on my face, there might be a shadow behind me. I just don't know if there's enough moisture. Come on. I, I don't I don't think there's gonna be enough moisture and I don't think the sea spray is gonna be enough to give us a rainbow. All right, as luck would have it, I don't think we're gonna get any more sun. It keeps perpetually going behind some clouds and they get thicker and thicker. So even though I thought it was gonna come out, uh, it's not, <laughs> spoiler alert. But I'm just glad I got some sunlight for the last hour or two. I don't think I'm gonna get sun for the next couple days, judging by the weather, but I don't necessarily trust the weather on the coast. It's very hit or miss sometimes. So still gonna try to shoot, wake up and shoot some sunrises if they happen or be on my toes for sunset or even midday like I was here. Everything behind me, this is definitely a sunrise location. The sunrise is right behind me. Uh, but it was nice to come here midday and get some of that really beautiful light you just saw. And I'm just happy to be out here. I really genuinely can't wait for everyone to see this stuff because I know for me, I've never seen any of it. And it is just, it's probably one of my favorite places on earth at this point. And I don't use those words lightly. Uh, all right, I don't know what's next, but we're gonna go to it now. Pro travel tip. Don't uh, just leave your flip flops out here to dry in the sun because you haven't seen the sun in a couple days. Uh, because what'll happen, karma, or not karma, I don't know what I did wrong, but uh, something, they'll, they got freaking rained on. So now they're wetter than they were when I left. Son of a bitch. Okay, as luck would happen, as soon as I got back to the car, took my jackets off, put my bag down, and got in, uh, the sun, just fully came out. So first lesson here, don't believe me. I'm not a weatherman. Clearly even me looking at the clouds, I'm like, nah, the sun's probably not gonna come back out. Frickin' six minutes later. But I'm headed back out. We're going, we're going back up this hill. See if there's any rainbows or anything going on because I can't pass it up. That's it though. That's the only one I see. All right, we technically got the faintest little rainbow, but we didn't really get any rainbow shots. Did fly the drone though for some epic footage and uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. Hope you did too. All right, so we've come back for sunset in the area that I shot sunset a few days ago that I started this video off with. But as you can tell, I hope you can see on that screen, it might be too bright at this point. 
The light is absolutely epic behind me, and what I'm hoping for is that as the sun gets really low on the horizon, it pokes through and shines up this entire area. So I've already got my tripod set up with my camera ready to go, but it's on the cliff's edge, so I'm not leaving my camera up there. And I'm kind of walking around, taking some other photos while we wait. But I'm just sitting here waiting for the light, and now I can just throw my camera on here. It's already in the position and ready to go. I'm gonna see if I can take some telephoto shots from uh, over here with this light coming through. So, gonna do that. Let's do that. Wow! I love photography. Oh, Jesus. Oh, too far. All right, it is freaking windy. And as soon as I stop recording to go switch lenses, we're talking like 35 seconds. Put the 100 to 500 on. I took a shot in that direction twice, and then the light was gone. Just completely, just kaput. And now it's just uh, this gray grossness. Uh, it's all right. This is landscape photography. You show up, you hope for the light, and uh, you work with what you got, which is this. <laughs> the irony of how essential adverse conditions are to the pursuit of landscape photography isn't lost on me. We all yearn for those perfect conditions at every location. Conditions so extraordinary that the method and equipment used don't really matter. Mother Nature's display is so breathtaking that we can capture it from any angle, using any medium, with beautiful results. And without the moments of disappointment, without the countless sunrises that fall short, and without the struggle, I wouldn't be here. And as I reflect on this, I realize how true it is for everything in life. Imagine if we could design an ideal partner, or write our own college diplomas, or print our own money. Everything would lose its significance, and we'd cease to savor those magical moments when we finally find or achieve them. Okay, okay, maybe printing a little bit of money wouldn't be too bad. Speaking of prints, have you heard about my 2024 calendar? <laughs> okay, all right, jokes aside, and on a more serious note, I reflect into some of the darkest moments of my life, pretty often living on the road, considering I have endless time to think to myself, most notably about the loss of my parents and the beloved ones I have around me. This overwhelming feeling that I'd never make it through, that I was lost in the abyss with light merely a distant concept. Yet it's these moments that make the happiness I continue to experience shine even brighter. The gratitude I feel while standing on the edge of the world chasing rainbows and finding joy in such a simple moment like sunshine on my face is immeasurable. But without knowing where it all began, those rainbows would have far less significance. So whether you're waiting for the right conditions out there for a beautiful scene in front of you, or navigating some significant challenges in your life, remember that there's a rainbow waiting out there for you somewhere. You just gotta go out there and find it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And there's gotta be a rainbow out there somewhere. We're on a mission to chase them right now. Thanks for watching. Later. <laughs>